Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video on the CenturyLink router and DSL modem. I'm going to show you how to change your Wi-Fi password. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. First, by taking a close-up look at the Wi-Fi router slash DSL modem, and as you can see, this one is active and powered up, and I have all green lights. And on the left side of the box, we have a label, and here's a close-up look. And it tells you the default factory settings and configuration for this modem, and the SSID, the security type, the pass uh, phrase, the WPS pin, the modem GUI address, the admin username, and the admin password as well. So we can use these default factory settings to access the Wi-Fi router slash DSL modem and change our Wi-Fi password if we like, um, if nothing else has ever been changed. But if it's something has been changed, we can go ahead, or if that label is missing, we can go ahead and find out the IP address to access this modem by opening up Windows and going to the run command here. And once you're there, type in CMD. And this does take you to a DOS prompt once you hit OK. And if we type in IP config here and hit the enter key, um, a lot of information will come up. Um, however, the only thing that we're interested in is the default gateway right here, IP address, which is 192.168.0.1. And um, that way you can confirm that the IP address for um, this Wi-Fi network is the same as the default settings. And we can open up a internet browser. In this case, I open up Microsoft Edge. And on the um, address line here, type in 192.168.0.1, which was the default um, gateway address, and hit the Enter key. And that opens up the CenturyLink ZYXELC 1100Z configuration page where we can log into the uh, modem GUI by typing in the default username which is admin and the default password if you can't remember it it is on the side of the physical um, router slash DSL modem itself on the sticker on the left hand side and in this case you can see it's D, D, B, so forth and I'm going to go ahead and type that password in now yours will be different because each of them are um, going to be different and once you type it in click on apply now that takes you to the modem configuration page where you have a um, option to select any one of these five categories and we're going to go ahead and click on wireless setup which is where we can change the wi-fi password but initially it brings us to the basic settings page and if we scroll down we can see what the um, settings are set by default to begin with and here they are and as you can see the security key is right there and that's your Wi-Fi password and we want to change that um, default password because personally I think it's a little long and hard to remember um, keep in mind you can also print this out if you um, want to but for now let's go ahead and go to wireless security settings and this allows us to go ahead and make changes to um, several items here. But the only thing that we want to change is the security key, which is, again, uh, the Wi-Fi password on the network. And um, I'm going to change it from the default um, by going over here on the left-hand side and putting a little check mark or click in there, rather. And I'll go ahead and type in a new password of my choosing. And in this case, I'm going to type in Jetbird8. And uh, that'll be good enough for this demo. I'll change it to something different later. And click on Apply. All right. Now, at this point, 
it saves the settings and changes the password, which also means that I am no longer connected to my Wi-Fi network because um, I have changed the password and this computer um, that I'm on has no longer a connection to the Wi-Fi network because the password has been changed. So in order to um, get back onto the network, I got to go down here, click on the Wi-Fi icon, go up here and click on Century Link, which is my modem. And um, I'm going to uncheck that and click on Connect and type in the new password, which was JetBird8. And so let me go ahead and type that in. And once I do, I'm going to go ahead and click on, um, and as you can see, I went ahead and showed that, uh, make sure that that's exactly what I typed in. Click on Next. And now I'm connected back to my network again with a new Wi-Fi password. And as you can see, I'm right back on the internet, went to, to my home page, which is Google. Now, um, keep in mind, I can go ahead and type in 192.168.0.1 and go back into the modem configuration and click on wireless setup. And I can click on the basic settings or not even, but uh, I don't have to click on it. But you can see it has been changed. And again, um, I mentioned before, you can print this out so that you have a record of it if you like. Okay, that's how you change your password, and I went ahead and logged off. And one last thing, let me close this out. Now, by chance, if you um, changed your password in the past, and you just don't remember how to get back into the um, Wi-Fi um, router slash DSL modem, because you've changed the admin password and username, you have to go and click on the reset button on the back of the modem and go through the configuration again. All right, um, that's the end of this video. And I hope it helped you out. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.